Now what we want is a reseller wise commission. Commission. But if you remember, there is no commission column in this data. There is nothing like commission, but obviously commission is going to be on the total column. Let's see how to build this. So we go to insert pivot table. We build a reseller wise sum of total. Now on this, we want to give a 10% commission. Since there is no commission column in our data, we cannot choose anything from these fields. So in a way, we want to create one more field here, an additional field. To do this, go to the Analyzer Options tab. And in the Calculation section, there is something called as Fields, Items and Sets. In that, there is something called as Calculated Field. Click on that. This box will open. I'm going to ask you to pause the video here. Do this much and come back. We'll do it together. Okay. Now we want to name the column as commission. And the formula, I'll remove this zero, is going to be total into 10%, right? So what I will do is, I will double click on this total field. So it will automatically come into my formula. Into, into 10%, 10%. And now, once this is created, I'll click on the add. Now if you observe, there is a field called commission added. And also in my field list, there is something called as commission added. We press OK. Wow. It has calculated the commission at 10% of the original value. I took 10% so that you can, you can immediately match the values. It's come out correctly. So this is how you create a very simple calculated field. Now let's look at a little more complicated one. So if I go to fields, items and sets and I say incentive, the formula is if bracket open, the total, double click on the total is greater than 70 lakhs, 7 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then you give a total into 5%. Otherwise, you give zero. So if the total value is greater than 70 lakhs, we'll give a total into 5% as incentive or we'll give it a zero. We'll click on add. You will see that the incentive has come in here as well as come in here. We press OK. And only two particular resellers have got an incentive because only those two are above 70 lakhs. Again, pause the video here, go ahead and try this much out and then come back. Okay, so you've understood how to create a simple calculated field as well as a little more complex calculated field. Now, instead of 5%, the company decided to change the incentive. So now you want to be able to modify it. So under this drop down, you will see your calculated fields. So you can go to the one that you want to modify and modify it, let's say 6%. When you click on modify and you click on OK, the calculation changes. This is how you can modify, edit a calculated field. If you want to delete a calculated field permanently, you can again go to the drop down, choose the, the calculated field and you click on delete. When you click on delete, it goes away from this list When you press OK, it's gone from here as well. It doesn't exist anymore. This is how you can modify and delete calculated fields as well. Next video is going to be on calculated items. Do watch that too. But before you get into that, make sure you understood calculated fields very well.